there, kickers typically are, are uh, not guys that played linebacker. You know, uh, they're usually a little different. Uh, so you have to you have to try to figure out how to best communicate with them and, and all that type of stuff. And you know, Milt does a great job with all that. Uh, but at some point, that stuff got to get out of the way too, and let's get the job done. And you know, if not, let's go to the next guy and give somebody else a chance. So that's where we are. In the situation with Spence, is, uh, is he just rushing too much or maybe stepping too close to the ball? What's uh, it? Just a lot of this little technical and just, I think, just, just you know, the moment, you know, the adrenaline of the moment. Uh, and just being a young guy, you know, in pressure situations. It's just, it's just got to kind of grow through it. I mean, that's the, I mean, he's got the ability, and I think just kind of uh, not focusing on his process and getting, getting more distracted on the outcome. Uh, and um, so, you know, it's, it is what it is. Like I said, we, we went through this with Cat Zero, uh, a young guy that had all the talent in the world, uh, did it in practice every day, and he just didn't show up on game day. And, uh, you know, eventually he, he kind of worked himself out of that. Um, started making the three foot put, putts routinely, and eventually, you know, his confidence grew from there. So hopefully, the same thing will happen to Alex. But uh, you know, we, we when you put drives together and and you get down inside the twenty and you don't come away with points. I mean, that, to be a great red zone team, I mean, you all heard me say this many times. You got to be, in my opinion, you need an athletic quarterback. You gotta be able to run the football, and you gotta be able to win matchups. You gotta have guys that can win matchups because you get a, a lot of matchup type of coverage, and then you gotta you gotta make field goals. If you're gonna be a great red zone team, you gotta make those plays, and because uh, it, it's it really it, it hurts you when you put drives together against good people, and you get down there, and then you don't come away with points. Uh, it, it's deflating to your offense and uplifting to the defense, to their team. And, and momentum is a big part of the game. It just is. Uh, so and then all of a sudden you, you start pressing a little bit. and uh, You just, you just want to be able to count on those. And you don't have to be perfect, but we got to be, you know, we got to be in that. You get in there, there's a, there's a, there's a 90%, you know, uh, percentile that we need to be down there in the, in the tight red zone. Um, I mean, we're gonna find out. I mean, you know, like I said, he's much better uh, yesterday, getting better every every day. And, um, just go play the game, you know. Go play the game. So, so, can you describe the level of remorse that Tanner Muse showed after the you know the sportsmanlike penalty at Syracuse, and then aside from that, just a few thoughts on his level of play this year? Yeah, that was uh, unacceptable, and and will absolutely not be tolerated here. And, uh, you know, I sat him for pretty much the rest of the half uh, after the play. And, uh, you know, it's costly. It's costly. Uh, they went on to get a field goal after that, you know, after that ball on the 40 yard line or whatever. Uh, it's really disappointing. That's not who he is. Uh, he just kind of got caught up in a moment and lost his mind. Uh, that's not, that's just not the way we do things here. And, um, you know, so, uh, and, and as a result, didn't play very well either. Uh, you know, and you make a play, I mean, okay, you know, somebody else calls the fumble. I mean, I'm excited for the play, but let's celebrate the right way. And so I was just, I was really disappointed in that, but his, he, he responded the way I hoped he would. He's very disappointed in himself and knows that he hurt the team. Uh, and he put, you know, it's just a selfish act. You know, put everybody in in a, in, a, in a bad situation. The kickoff team, the kicker, the defense, the offense, everybody. Um, and uh, you know, so young player that that uh, showed a lot of immaturity in that moment. And uh, you know, there's going to be we're going to score on defense some more. There's going to be more opportunities, and we need to we need to keep our composure and celebrate. There's nothing wrong with celebrating. Let's celebrate the right way. Celebrate with your teammates, and and, uh, and let's don't let's don't uh, have derogatory uh, actions. And uh, 
So he, he's responding. And as far as his year, I mean, he's a sophomore player. He's done a lot of good things. Uh, he's done some, some big plays. He's, and then just like any other young player, he's had some bad ones too. Uh, so he's just a developing guy that's got a lot of football left in front of him. And I think when it's all said and done, he leaves here, he's going to be a great, great player. He's not a great player right now. Uh, but he's a, he's a good young player that has the potential to be a great player. Coach, you said about six years since you guys have lost back-to-back -back games. How proud are you the way the team has bounced back from defeats? And have you seen similarities to how previous teams have handled losses to the way that this group has reacted to the bye week? Uh, you know, I, yeah, I think these guys have responded well. Uh, I'm proud of the consistency that we've had in our program. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we haven't had an undefeated team yet. Uh, yeah, that's 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 always a goal. One of these days, we're going to hopefully can finish the season, start the season, season with a win, and finish the season undefeated. Uh, that'd be that'd be great. Uh, but you know, whether you're Tom Brady, whoever, uh, time to time in the game of football, you get beat, and and it's it's really that really isn't the story. Uh, it's a story for a little while. The story is how you respond, how you learn, how you grow, how you develop. Sometimes you're just not good enough. You know, sometimes you, you play well and you get beat. You're just not quite good enough in certain areas. Uh, and that's just, that's life, that's football. Uh, but, but this team is good enough, uh, but we do have to play well. You know, we've got, we've got to play well. We're not good enough to roll out there and, and, and stink it up. You know, if we play well, then, then I think we're good enough to win, uh, you know, week in and week out. And so, you know, I'm anxious to see this week. Uh, how's this group? This is a this is a different team. The makeup of this team is very different. Uh, if you look at this roster, I mean, there's six scholarship seniors. Uh, the juniors are a pretty good, big junior group, and all that group's done is playing two national championship games. So they, they ain't lost very much around here. Uh, and then you look at our sophomore group, pretty good group. Well, they just come off a national championship as freshmen. And you look at our freshman group. They just lost their first game in their career. So we, the majority of our team's freshmen and sophomores. And so, the, the, you know, that's why I always say you're always starting over. You're always, you're always starting over. You're always reinstalling your core values. You're trying to protect your culture, fight for your culture, because they don't know. I mean, the kids that are in this program now, they were like 11, you know, seven years ago or whatever. They, I mean, Clemson's always been good to them. Always. I mean, Clemson's always been good. So, but, but how we got good and, the, and what you have to do to have a chance to win, the commitment that it takes, the, the, the purpose that you have to prepare with, the effort you have to play with, the attention to details that you have to have, the technique, the relentless passion that you have to display, well, sometimes you've got to be reminded of that. You're not entitled to win. Uh, you gotta, you gotta earn it, man. Every single day, and uh, and and when you get beat, it's always a, a, a awesome opportunity to to teach, man. And that's what we've tried to do. We've just tried to teach and develop our team. Uh, we're gonna see how they're gonna respond Saturday night, and they may respond great and play well. We may get beat because we're playing a great football team. We're playing a great football team in Georgia Tech that can beat anybody. Uh, but, you know, that's why I've always said I, I personally have never judged our team on the scoreboard, ever. We've won some games and played like crap. And we celebrate the win, and if we're in here, you'd have thought we lost come Monday uh, because we, we got to get better. So, you know, I, I, I just, I just want to see us, you know, lay it on the line and, and, and play the way I know we're capable of. Coach Fuller, uh, 